well, I was going to video outside, but <laughs> I don't want to tell you about these. We we got these. Um, I got some lemon thyme and I got some parsley. And I've been meaning to cut the parsley back because you can see the, like, the little regrowth. It will, you know, regrow from the roots <laughs> if you cut it back and, uh, and nibble on it. But I haven't planted them in my little herb pot yet. And they're covering my view outside. <laughs> but thank goodness we got a couple hours of rain yesterday. And uh, hopefully it got the fires. But it really did um, clean the air. The air quality is actually pretty good this morning. We... I opened the windows. It was over 100 last night, um, the particles. And that's not really that good, but I opened the windows anyway. You can still smell smoke in the air, but, oh, it cooled off the house really nice. And it's supposed to be nice out today. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully calm those fires down a little bit. They are huge. Yeah, um, I don't know, 150,000 acres, I want to say. I don't remember what I videoed yesterday. Because I did video yesterday the size of that uh, fire. Um, it's actually three fires that converged into one. Um, there was the Clear, the McDonald, and I forget what the other one was called. But, yeah, scary. It's scary, and um, the Denali fire is kind of under control. Um, they've still got the area evacuated because there's no electricity, and uh, you know, they. I don't know if the power company did that on purpose, so that way, if something happens to the lines, it doesn't create, you know, sparks to, you know, to create more fire. <laughs> But Mary and I were talking about, you know, how bad our forests are. The spruce beetles have just devastated everything. So it's just kindling waiting to go up. It's bad, bad. All the forests down there, all the black spruce is just dead, dead, dead. Um, I've got pictures. I wanted to see if I could find some of my old pictures, you know, the area that we go through in uh, Cantwell where all the green big spruce trees kind of hang over the river because they're, you know, the river pushes the roots so they they create this little arch over the river. And uh, they're dead. They're, it's so sad to see. And um, they've tried in the Chugach Forest to um, see if they can control those spruce beetles but they haven't had any luck, um, at least not that I know of. And we were thinking about the only thing that's going to kill them is these forest fires. So, so sad. Anyways, I got to go to work, and doggies are crunching on their food. <laughs> Mary's over here tapping on her keyboard. She's working from the kitchen, waiting for me to get out of the way so she can make her breakfast. <laughs> so I'll do that. We'll see you later. <laughs> I was sitting at the computer and Heather came downstairs and she said, she said, Mom, you look tired. And I was like, I do? She says, yes, your hair's fuzzy. 
<laughs> Wait, as if like your fuzzy hair had to do with I your mean, tiredness? I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. that, that actually makes sense for her. <laughs> so if you know Heather, she does make like very unusual correlations. Uh, right. <laughs> but I washed it today so I didn't brush it out. I just left it curly. And when I, when I straightened my bangs, because I, I probably showed, if you're new here, you haven't seen it, but, but I'm sure I've showed you my hair when it's wet. It's like, it's just really curly. But I, so I straightened my bangs all the time, but because I curled them when they were wet, they, you know, curled back up. Yeah. <laughs> so... I mean, straighten them when they're, you know. Uh, yeah, that's what mine, mine's fuzzy yeah. today, too. Plus, it's the humid out, which it is strange for Fairbanks. Yeah, last yeah night. it rained yesterday. yesterday, and which is good because it took the smoke out. I yeah. mean, the smoke is gone. gone. It's crazy. Yeah. But it's so nice because it was so nice and cool last night. We just like opened all the windows. We all slept and better I than we have in a while. Yeah, a long time. <laughs> yeah, because it's been not just um, hot. It's been, you know, smoky. And then we've got construction going on around our neighborhood. So they're doing nighttime construction. Yeah. So it's very loud. And I don't know if that came across on one of the videos, but I had like a sugar um, dish oh. bowl with a lid and it was rattling, yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, they they were, they are shaking the house. So yeah. my, um, my dishes in the cupboard are shaking. So I had like all the fans going and white noise and music and because yeah. because the dogs weren't appreciating it at all i don't know if anyone so. maybe this is just a me thing so this might sound really weird to people but sometimes if i like if i take a nap and i wake up too soon or i've slept in too long i feel like sometimes my body gets this like buzzing feeling mm -hmm. as if like i don't know if it's trying to wake up or if it's like like resetting I don't know like sometimes I get this weird buzzing feeling in my body it was like it was like that like you just laid uh, down and like the bed would be like buzzing yeah it wasn't nice yeah <laughs> so, you know not like a massage or something no no it was more like it was so subtle but like like enough that it was just irritating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was, it was difficult to get good sleep in, yeah. you know, the last yeah. week and a half. <laughs> so I tried to take a nap because Heather told me I looked tired. <laughs> and I took maybe about a 20 minute nap and Mary came in and she's like, are you asleep? <laughs> well, I told her if she, well, I looked at her for a while, so I was kind of being a creeper. So I looked at her in the dark and then her eyes were like blinking. And so then I was like, were you asleep? And then she was like, not really. And so, so I was like, well, if you want a nap, I can like, I can disappear. <laughs> like, I can get out of here. And she was like, and in there, and she just yeah. like, and I really wanted to go to the South Side Market, so yeah. we went over to Bucko's and we tried some of their new July drinks. And um, they've got some neat drinks for July, different, mm -hmm. really different from what they normally do. And then, um, then we went to the South Side Market, and I got a, a farm raised chicken. <laughs> and she said, yeah, So, have you ever had fresh farm chicken? And I was like, yes, I have. And she said, you know to cook it slow, right? And I'm like, um, yes, I do. <laughs> well, the whole time she had probably said five times, she's like, yeah, I just want to, I wanted to know if it was going to fit in my crock, crock pot. pot. Yeah. And the whole point of crock pots is to slow cook. <laughs> slow cook. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know. Maybe she just didn't make that correlation <laughs> or the connection. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so I got a, a chicken from Yellowwood Farms. Yeah. And, um. And then we got some non bread. Yeah, from another, I don't know. Here you go. Know, he's back there somewhere. Bread. Does it say on there what? Bread. Joyful Journey Farm. Yeah. I'm excited to and try. Most of the booths over there are Calypso Farms and the school markets. 
Well, yeah, so. I think people usually eat naan with like curries or something. I wonder. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. So now we're at Walmart. Mm -hmm. And we. That's a few things to get. Yeah. Things Make that we just forget about. Makeup y things. <laughs> We're going to go in there, and then I think I'm going to stop somewhere. Heather said something about sesame chicken. So we might stop at, what's that Chinese place? Oh, um, I keep wanting to say Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Kung <definitely>. Fu Panda? <laughs> Panda Express? Uh, Panda Express is that. No, that's this one. That's the new drive through It's Panda, like Panda, Panda Garden. Panda Garden, Or yeah. something. Yeah, we don't stop there enough to remember the name. But... <laughs> I don't know. But she remembers our face <laughs> when we go in there. So. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know. Maybe see you. Yeah. It's like slowly <laughs> more headspace. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm She's just like dropping the it. phone. <laughs> we never made it to Panda Garden. We got cheesesteak sandwiches instead at uh, Food Factory. Then... I worked on videos on Wednesday and got up early Thursday morning, 4th of July, and we headed to Esther for their parade. The plan was to go to Esther, then North Pole, then to Pioneer Park, but we waited so long in traffic when we left Esther, we just went back home. And you'll see that coming up. Um, here you see a little um, golf cart that was heading to Esther for the parade. They usually dress up the golf carts. Um, there weren't that many this year. They usually do like a golf cart competition and I really didn't see any. So I think a lot of people just gave up because of the rain. Um, we stopped at the coffee shop. Uh, we have been wanting to try it. It's brand new and uh, it was actually really good. So we will be back there because you know we love coffee shops. And here's the Esther and what we did and the parade. Enjoy. So Jamie is here from Nuggets. He does the the little cartoons and stuff. I have to go over there and show you, but he came by and dropped off some stickers. You guys are waiting for coffee. There's a whole bunch of Oh my gosh, yum. That looks really good. I got a matcha. It's a maize matcha. It's got coconut in there. And then Mary got a chai. And with the coconut and she caramel. With coconut and caramel. I think it's a spice chai because it tastes cinnamony to me. Oh. And um, parfaits. Yum! We were so excited that they put bakery things out. <laughs> so we went and grabbed them. It was a uh, rhubarb vanilla bean scone. And it's still warm. She was trying to pick them up with the tongs. And they were falling apart. <laughs> So it's only a few minutes before the parade starts. It's clearing out in here. So I'm gonna go show you some of Jamie's things. Getting ready to start the parade. Lots of people down there. So there's a little tent. Uh, see where all those people are? There's like a tent. There's a judge there. And um, 
they get to bribe the judge <laughs> for their their um, you know floats and stuff. <laughs> Missing the kids. The kids are usually starting the parade in the bicycle. They're all dressed up. Hey, <laughs> 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 Cute. <laughs> There's a little little bike that's trailing. <laughs> Yay! Candy. <laughs> oh, look at this little guy. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Is there Bigfoot down there? There's a Yeti? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you see what's coming? <laughs> It's a, it's a <laughs> oh my <laughs> they are too cute <laughs> Here's the fire department. So, oh my gosh, what is going on back there? <laughs> that looks pretty fun. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that! <laughs> now it's blue. <laughs>
somebody playing music. <laughs> They're throwing all the candy out there, all the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people are actually giving us candy. We don't have any hands. <laughs> Lots of political stuff, but they're actually, it's a political year. They're um, going to vote this year. <laughs> Peonies, they're so pretty. <laughs> they're so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Mary got one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Library newsletter. Thank you. <laughs> It's their little library here. They have all kinds of little things going on. Nice. <laughs> They're actually doing a line dance over there. <laughs> oh, fun. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Gotta love the old trucks. <laughs> He's got to stop because they're line dancing over there. <laughs> Dog, he's so interested. He's like, what's she doing? <laughs> Mary's being a trooper today. Her, her ankle is still all puffed up. She's, Benadryl's working. The Benadryl painkiller and all that stuff, it's kind of working. I haven't really taken painkillers. We did yesterday. Yep. <laughs> More politics. <laughs> Hello. 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 It's actually a pretty long little parade <laughs> for in the rain. I didn't think a whole lot of people would show up. <laughs> and after the parade, they do a community potluck out here um, at the big park. And uh, yeah, the big park is, if you saw our mushroom festival thing that we went to, um, it's pretty huge. It's a nice park. And uh, and you can, they roast a pig, and you can pay for um, a meal. Uh, you get money off if you bring a dish to pass. So we were thinking about doing that, but with Mary's foot, we're not going to be walking around. Yeah, so we'll just come to watch the parade and eat it flossies. <laughs> this looks like it's the last one. <laughs> Calypso Farms. <laughs> sure, I'll take a radish. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Calypso Farms always the end of the parade. It's got little radishes. <laughs> Yay! It's the end of the parade. <laughs> They're gonna do a little dance in front of everybody on the corner here too. <laughs> Fun. 
So there's where Flossie and Mays is. Um, Esther Gold Camp was a camp back here in the 1930s and um, they turned it into oh kind of like a tourist attraction and it ended up closing down because the people that own it actually own um, the Gold Dredge and the Riverboat Discovery and they just didn't have enough tourism at the time to uh, to keep all three places running so the Malamute Saloon over here they used to have nightly shows and yeah it's a really fun place neat little town they've got um, art shop in there and the saloon will be open later I'm tempted to go back into Flossie and Maze and see if they got more goodies <laughs> Mary's ready to go 54 degrees and the rain doesn't have to be heavy it just needs to be consistent <laughs> put those fires out I have to get my windshield replaced guys we got all these cracks it's Alaska it happens so this has been our 4th of July Kippy is locked over here because there's people running up and down the neighborhood looking for a lost dog. And Mary was soaking her foot. <laughs> and uh, we came home and took naps today. Um, I don't do good with naps anymore. I very rarely sleep more than an hour. So I slept like maybe 45 minutes. Heather came home from work and she's been napping for about three hours now. So I guess it's just a nap kind of day. Right? Bean's like, yeah. <laughs> so I've been editing. <laughs> I just, it's taking me a very, very long time to edit this one video. And I got two more to edit for this weekend. And uh, I think it's just because I keep fiddling around on social media and, and it's just odd. And then I'm watching these people go up and down the street looking for their dog. I don't think it's back here. Um, I don't know what they think. I was going to go out in the rain and ask them, but I've, I've noticed that they've been in two or three different cars and walking up and down the streets. So I don't know if it got loose from another you know neighboring street or what happened but hopefully they find the dog and um yeah we thought we were gonna go to pioneer park and, and there were a lot of things that were canceled today because i checked my facebook things that i had um you know bookmarked on my facebook events and they were canceled so I know Pioneer Park does things rain or shine, you know, the 4th of July stuff, because they put tents and things out there. But just hanging around home today. I know a lot of people that said they were going to just hang around home today and get yard work done because they haven't been doing it. <laughs> Not today. In fact, I don't think my yard was going to do the same thing. I don't think my yard work's going to get done. It looks like this rain is going to last for days <laughs> which is good <laughs> we need it for these fires because if we just get a little bit of rain those fires even though you think they're out they they will smolder underneath that water because um we've got you know mossy ground it's like fuel so uh, i hope you're all having a good fourth of july or had a good fourth of july because you won't see this till next week and um yeah well talk to you later on in the week she emerged from her nap <laughs> we were just talking about you okay. why, why were you talking about me it's 1am and the sun's coming back up 
boy. Look at them. They're so small. Look at them walking. They're running. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 